The National High School Player of the Year was announced this week and the 2020 honor going to Corner Canyon quarterback Jackson Dart. Dart led the nation in passing with almost 4,700 yards and his 67 passing touchdowns broke the single season Utah State record. Finished his senior year with 5,886 yards of total offense and 79 scores leading the Chargers to their third consecutive state title. He will be joining the USC Trojans for his collegiate career, signing with the team during the early signing period. Now, according to the scouting reports, Dart shows typical skills as a passer. He's got above average physical tools, great feel for the game, great touch, can put the ball where it needs to be between the levels, and he's also not afraid to put his head down and fight for those tough yards outside the pocket. For more on Jackson Dart and the All-America team, which is out today, let's now welcome in National Football Editor for Max Prep, Zach Poff, and Max Prep's Director of Programming, Steve Montoya. Great to see you, gentlemen. Let's start with Jackson Dart being named National Player of the Year. Zach, not a surprise here. Where does his season rank for you in terms of great seasons that you've seen by high school quarterbacks? It, it's right up there at the top, man. I mean, you, you just look at the numbers he put up. He broke the single-season Utah State record. Going for 67 touchdowns in a single season, which is remarkable. He led the nation in passing with nearly 4,700 yards. And Corner Canyon is a program that's been ranked in the top 25 from the start of the season. They ended the year ranked at number nine. He led Corner Canyon to their third consecutive state title with the last two coming in the largest classification at 6A. And the thing that impressed me the most with Dart, he went into his senior season. He transferred from Roy High School to Corner Canyon. He had zero power five offers going into his senior campaign and the way he played this season obviously some power five schools began to start offering dart and he ended up signing with usc but you know the thing that impresses me most about dart isn't doesn't show up on the stat sheet it's his toughness there were games this year i saw him take big time hits he would limp back to the huddle and come right back in and tell head coach eric cart no nah, i'm good man i'm staying in i'm playing with my guys and it's going to be a fun battle at USC, man. You know, obviously they got Slovis coming back next year, but him and Miller Moss, another four-star quarterback, will be battling for the backup spot. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a fun battle to watch. But, yeah, you know, Jackson Dart earned this Player of the Year award, and he's the first player from the state of Utah to say he's won Max Preps National Player of the Year. Yeah, and I, I just want to get, kind of give a shout out to the state of Utah. Remember back when COVID started, Utah was really the first – uh, anywhere to start playing football, let alone just high school. And, you know, looking at Jackson Dart's timeline, and it wasn't like he was unknown. He had BYU, uh, Utah State offers. Then all of a sudden, because of his senior year, being able to play in the state of Utah, it was Arizona State, Iowa State, TCU, UCLA, and then USC. And now all of a sudden, because of the importance of his senior year, he took full advantage of it. So really good job to Jackson Dart, good job to the state of Utah, and really all the states that got to uh, play high school football this fall.